What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So, no, pff, as the United States. So to round off happened last time, we have been giving the Russians another royal battering for a few turns and now we're going to engage another army with Peter Payne. They've got lots of cavalry, so I expect they'll just charge blindly into our lines. But let's not count on it. But we need to... While they bring their reinforcements down from Finland, we must act quickly. And our fronts as quickly as possible in order to do as much damage to their economy as possible. So let's see how things go. Well, they're going to do, particularly as we've got quite a nice open field here. So let's deploy, deploy 12 pounders. Deploy my infantry into thick lines because they've got cavalry. Because they're mostly cavalry, that's the threat I'm most I'm worried about. And let's pick Ooh, you know line to go on each flank. You know light infantry to go in front of the guns, and you know long rifle to go on the flank. So these guys will all end up being the guards on one particular flank. Long rifle in front. One infantry to the flank, and a unit of dragoons on each side. And let's get my houses back before doing anything silly. General in the centre, and actually just at the top of the hill. Let's turn it off, fire at will, before these guys kill all my infantry, my light infantry. Play stakes, play stakes, may as well play stakes. Get everyone to play stakes, so I want them to be a bit further ahead for my cavalry, for my artillery than the rest. Turn on shrapnel shot and fire at will, and by the time my infantry get into position, they'll be safe. Shrapnel shot, fire at will. First cavalry assault. Oh wow, they are actually quite depleted. So they're going to hit this mountain mash of troops too. Both of you hit that militia unit with canister because they're going to be charging right at you. Same with you guys. I'm going to want to keep my. If I had barrage, I'd be using it. Oh no, they're falling back for some peculiar reason. Let's keep you guys firing shrapnel shot at the troops on the hill. To be honest, keep my howitzers firing over there too. I thought this infantry unit was a, I thought this, this army was a bit more devastating than it actually was, it appears. How odd. Ah, it's that, that little position there that's causing the problems. These guys are going to get shot to bits. Oh god no, that was not good. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. Get these guys to fire at will. Because may as well, because they're in range. They're 
feeling very flush. Okay. Then go for the general's bodyguard. The militia are finally going to make get into position to charge us, but I think they're going to they're going to uh, regret it. Let's treat these guys to deal with this militia unit. Stay with the Gossack. Ooh, okay, shrapnel shot. All the shrapnel shot units is just about to. Hit the Cossacks. I'm not as bothered about maximizing my casualties against the Russians. Well, I mean, if they'll give me an opportunity like this, then I think I will. After you. Let's get all my artillery to hit you with a shrapnel shot. Because I think with that combined artillery fire. You guys go chase down someone else. There we go. Picking away the Republican Guard. Pick away this Republican Guard and let's immediately stop all artillery. Continue, Arte. Perfect. Let's triple speed it. Everyone hightail it after the remnants of their army. Questionable. Ooh, let's get some of their gun crews, actually. You go for... I'll run through the militia. You may as well go for the militia. They're going to get away, so make sure everyone goes for this militia unit, but they will get away because they'll be... Well, I was about to say they'll get away because there's far too many of them. Is these guys haven't had enough. Because they've chosen a bit of a strange way to get away, but... Let's turn off my... Oh, they are going to get away. Decisive victory, though, and that's what I want to see. I will not Benjamin Franklin. Hmm. Rightio. Let's see how we've done. 200 men lost for 1,300 of them of Borislav, Porzan, and Gol. Delicious. Immediately. And he's also brought some breathing space for our armies in the rear. Actually, he can... This our African army can chase them down and knock them out. And valor finish that stack off. Knock down the seminary and let's knock down the university because it's making me grumpy. Another seminary. Good, you have no objective, so. Must I bring you down here? 
I need to bring I need to reorientate some forces to the southeast. My Kiev garrison is probably past its need. Just make sure there aren't any any educational build any religious buildings or educational buildings I can get rid of. Crimea is already is rearming. Yes, sir. You begin chasing down Nikolai Rezanov. Then you can also start to threaten some position down here, so you're not... Okay, so I'm going to take this garrison out. You go Lisi Tataki. You move up and garrison Tbilisi. In the event that our, this Russian army decides to move. A couple of armies are in Moscow that are on the move, but they're replenishing. You're replenishing, you're replenishing, everyone's replenishing. Kind of my garrison's replenishing. You've not really got much of an objective. You're a bit of a fragment, be ready to respond. One of these armies I might actually pull out and try and either deposit it to directly threaten Stockholm. No, I reckon fighting the Swedes on the battlefield would be a nice change of pace. Rather than trying to go for the sneaky capture their city and make them all disappear route. You could do with killing some of these Russians, but you know. Okay, is there a university here? There is. So let's demolish you. Okay, I don't want to move you out, so I might. Oh, I can't really do anything about you. If I move you out, yeah, I don't want to move you out because it might entice. Them. These guys to move back in. I think I might have to wait. So Nizhny is being demolished. Salaki is. Try to get it demolished. Odense is being demolished. Babruisk is being demolished. Cool. Let's hit and turn and see what happens. Oh, some more armies are moving up to the front. Just when we thought I hadn't had enough. Jerusalem. I think I'm also in a good position to see. You're offering me to be your protectorate, and I want to give you. You want to, you want me to pay you? Is that 1.1 million? No. You will be destroyed, good sir. And here come the remaining Russian forces, which we have to defeat in order to secure final victory in the field. That's going to be a bit of a painful one to root out. It looks like they might have a navy, an army. Uh, nope, I thought they were going to amphibiously assault me, but I suppose not. Oh, they're going to chase them down. But they're desperately trying to move troops back into their mainland. But they have too many armies and not enough roads, so they're getting all in each other's way. Which is perfect, I think. They have no money, so lots of their home regions should actually be suffering from uh, bankruptcy issues at this point. They may even start rebelling, which would be hilarious. So the Finland garrison is in a good position. Well, I, say, I, dread to I dread to find out what's, you know, what other armies are hiding, because they've damn well I've got enough troops oh no I'm not going to invite the attack nope I want one more turn of replenishment oh. so they're retreating they're moving up to regarrison Tarki the Persians are on the move oh, I forgot about the Persians if they attack we will withdraw well, well I suppose they aren't going to well I guess they're not going to attack then Swedes are on the march. Here's the Huron. Oh yes, the more way to attack the Huron. There is a degree of unrest in this region, as the majority of the population follow a different religion. For now, um, you've got three buildings, so I might turn two of them into church schools to try mass... What do I turn three of them in? All of them into churches and try to start spamming priests in this part of the world. 
No, I want to build that and happiness building to try to start spawning more rakes. To, in order to assassinate their religious people. So what have we got? Lots of trades gained, enemy raids. It's to be expect expected, but I would very much like more troops in my Moscow garrison. It looks like they're ready for next time. Um, so where was it? It was down here. Yes, sir. This army Wine intercept Nikolai. We are mighty and they don't and have any bow. anything of consequence there. So you are probably in a good position to move west in preparation of hitting Astrakhan. Good, we're starting to get some conversions going. More raids. Age detected over here. Oh, that's my guy. To be honest, I might try to get him on to assassinating duty, even though he's probably not going to kill him. One in six, uh, one six in hundred chance. Nope. Yeah, that's the guy up in the pleasure gardens. Lots of construction. So let's keep our widespread industrial programs on the go. Yep, I've run upgrading you. Oh yes, you're just a bit of a garrison force. Trust the United States. The United States is your friend. This is like a, a Marshall plan that's being put in place. Yes, I do see that, stack, that giant Persian army on the move. Well, not on the move, it's just set up there. Okay, so. At the ready. You're now ready. Prepare for war. Settlement so how many territories do you, does Persia have? Just the one. So if we capture, sir, if we capture Esfahan, Orders. then they're immediately knocked Prepare out of the game. The He's got two armies besieging them, and I might move one ahead, ready to start to hit Zahidan. Oh, actually, yes, I'll probably want to hit Persia then, even though I'd rather siege it for a bit because it'd be nice to delete all these chaps. See, Glover has arrived. Lots of fleets. So let's take half of you onto there. You go onto there. It's a bit overkill, really. Let's put you onto East Africa trade fleets, and you just. These guys sit here ready. Who's trading here? Sweden, currently. Recruitment, so lots and lots of recruitment. There you go, this army's finally ready, so they can also push. Oh, you can go down to Baghdad actually. All these guys are currently sat doing nothing. Let's repair you. We build a happiness building and let's upgrade or repair the Iron Master's Forge. Let's get this guy to start on a long trek towards Ufa. Sir, oh, these guys can move up, ready to help clear out areas around Moscow. Yeah. Could we do a bit of replenishment before you go in and hit that army, Make just in ready. case we don't know what it is. Let's bring you up as well. For your You're getting ready. You're getting ready. Let's hop over to the Americas. Yes. Seize the Huron. Settlement. And besieging the Pueblo nations, so I think 
what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to attack the Pueblo Nations just to finish this off. That I've been fighting in Russia um, for a while. Pace would be nice <laughs> for me. Finally knock out this faction and then move up to take the Black Hills and then that will be the American theatre secured in its entirety. It can focus on trying to deploy troops to, to threaten the, the Indian region. So they will attack because they will have no choice. They'll have no choice because otherwise we will destroy them with artillery. So I don't mind having having not the most efficient deployment of my artillery because they're going to be rushing in for, man, for hand combat regardless. Good, and that's set. Well, you guys haven't gone any Well, this line hasn't gone anywhere. I thought it would. Oh, and this how it's a unit. Deploy you two more on the left. Let's deploy you on the right. Then two infantry units on each flank. Ready to push up. Perfect. And the general and household cavalry can just stay where they are because it's going to be a bit of a slaughter. firing. Holy moly. I'm a battalion pirate, so you can use shrapnel too. It's going to be a bit of a slaughter, a bit of a charnel house. They'll get within range and then they will just get destroyed the artillery will just be too much. Quite a wide line, but I don't know if it's going to help them. So let's just start dotting my artillery around to help. It's just going to be too much. They just can't make it to our lines. Late with um, late game artillery is a bit grim because holy moly, you've got good line infantry, you've got good bayonet attack, you've got good in firepower, good bayon um, uh, individual tactic in uh, formation like firing drills. the last of the Mohicans. Let's just bring my cavalry around because they're probably going to take care of these bows. Cover well. Oh, yeah, 
suppose. Deployed here, which is smart. Which is not a match for the heavy cavalry, I think. Troops. Is that the bowmen? No, the bowmen haven't shown themselves yet. And let's just bring my bows to my. Cavalry just to run and run run along the line to flush out the bowmen because these chaps are going to there we go they were exposed and now they're going to be fired upon oh they've hidden again. Big cavalry can go after Chief's bodyguard. Oh, even they caught me out a bit there. And let's turn off all my artillery. Sad days for the end of a great people. End battle. Heroic victory. Congratulations, Gail. Well, it's pretty darn heroic. Wing, wing, nudge, nudge. Text is secured. Let's dismantle there. Dismantle there. Buildings. And then let's get building some proper western buildings. Destroy, destroy. Let's build a fishing village, build a plantation, let's build some roads. Oh, we're actually oh, we're going to be on our way to Santa Fe first before going up to Yankton. And let's see how my guy can infiltrate Yankton. So apparently just a white guy can do really good. He's not, well, not, well, not as bad as you think in infiltrating a Native American tribe. Welcome to Strike in Denmark, not anymore. Your humble yes. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. So I think our next... Stay. Oh, actually, you're in a. Sir. You're going to lay siege to Dagestan. In which case, yeah, you're on your, you're on the way to go straight to Astrakhan. You've already assassinated someone, I think. Our next attack is going to be the assault on Esfahan. But looking at the timer, that would take me way over my timer. And I'm nearly bang on now. Anyway, so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault of Esfahan. Thanks, guys.